So yeah, my name's Robin. And Drum Guy's back with more beer and more problems. And my tools are not in the room right now. Next on the chopping block is a zoom. Is this an action camera? No, this is too fragile to be an action camera. What do you call this? The Zoom Q2N. The Zoom Q2N. So this guy apparently has a bad power jack now. Oh yeah, that feels loose, bud. Yeah, that's terrible, isn't it? Oh yeah, that thing's, oh boy. Yeah, that thing's completely broken off in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so we got to figure out how to take this guy apart. Yeah. I see some screw holes under bottom already. Okay. All right. So this extra circuit board here. Oh, that's the button board, okay. It just decided to come off with the battery holder, but it shouldn't have. It needs to stay down in there. That's the battery holder. There's a couple little tiny screws here. Yeah. Feels like it wants to, like there should be a pop tab, like that popped, that popped. I feel like there just needs to be a little pop tab up here. Oh. There we go. Yeah, snaps. One, two, three, four snaps. Two electric condensers, screen. Okay, so where's this switch that's broken? Oh, well, it's on the other side of the board, but which means you gotta pull this board out. After having just fixed my S9900, this doesn't seem as intimidating to me. Now these are the internal screws. Oh, I see how it is. That kind of presses back and then lifts out. It's hard to describe just now how I did that. Like I know how I did it, but all right. Now we can get at the other two screws. So I'm finding some of these small electronics, they, they seem intimidating, but they're actually pretty modular. And if you know the logic, if you can kind of just, you know, if you're good at puzzle solving, it's actually pretty straightforward. Like I'm surprised that tiny little camera, how straightforward it came apart and went together. Oh, let's take this wire out of the way. Or is interrupted now. These are grounding strips. You nervous? A little bit. Well, there's been no snaps, so. <laughs> so far, so good. No. Yeah. Okay, there's a snap point there. So we'll pop out the button board. Where is another? Okay, they're on the edge of the board here. And here. There we go. That. All right, so that's going to be holding us back, this thing, which I believe links to the camera. There might be some flex, but how does this knob come off? I wonder if Zoom intended this to be serviceable. Okay, so the knob just pushed off there, easy. Just couldn't quite grab it with my fingies. Is it tensioning? Yes, it is. It's tensioning on the camera cable. So how to get that camera cable back into place later. I just kind of want this to scissor out, you know, to just swing out without having to pull that camera cable off. There it is. I've disconnected the camera cable, which should give me more leverage this way now. And allow me to pivot out the board. Okay, there it goes. So here's the nuisance right here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh boy. Unfortunately, it's literally ripped the traces off the board, which means there's nothing to real solder to. I might be able to overlap over to like, there's a lot of area here that I can scrape conformal coating off of. Same with over here. The data pins though, I don't think I'm getting those back on. Well, do I have to worry about a little H60 over there? Oh boy. There's this big capacitor in the way there. 
where it's actually a small capacitor just looks big compared to everything else. It's like the side solder let go. And then when that happened, it just ripped the battery contacts right off the board. All right. The other side. That's a little bit better. Now, can we scrape some conformal off where the power connects? Oh, he's busting old grandpa's, grandpa's glasses. Grandpa's glasses old, are for- Old men's glasses. For grandpa's, I think you know it. Yeah, I don't know what these are. I found them. I think they used to be my dad's. But when I put them on, when I look at something really close, it's sharp. Oh, but then when I look at something not close, it's like, you know what I mean? When you plug this into a computer, what does it do? Does it like transfer data, offload? Um, I've never tried that actually. I always just take the SD card out. Because it has what appear to be data contacts. They're so close. Can we order like another little jack? And the jack's fine. It's the motherboard that's damaged. It ripped the contacts right off the motherboard. The jack itself is physically okay. It's just a question of getting that connection back onto the motherboard. I'm confident I'll be able to get the power connected because it's the two edge pins and there's like a bunch of area. But the little center data pins, I don't think that's happening. Alternatively, it would be easier to just take a cable, chop it, solder it right onto the board. Well, why don't we do that then? Because that seems sloppy. I don't care if there's a little cable sticking out of the camera. That would actually probably be better because usually when I'm filming, if the jack is like would be hanging off, it would be better than just like plugged directly sideways because I find it is like... So how do you power this thing? Like an external battery or plugged into the wall. I think I got it, but I bridged over to a data pin. That'll work too, I guess. USB. I think I got it off that data pin. All right, I think everything's connected. So uh, a zoom, which two ends? How many ends? HZ65T? Q2N. Q2N with its guts hanging out. How do you turn it on? The power button's this center one. No, that's record button. Which one's one power? On the left, I think. So this guy. I guess it's not getting power yet. Yeah, I might not have managed to bridge that connection yet. Okay, so it works with the battery, but if we just connect power, it's gonna... Okay, so I guess it's not currently powering off the jack yet. Well, it makes a little chirpy noise. Ah, oh, take another stab at that or what? Because I feel like... Yeah, the more I tweak on this, the worse it's going to get. Because that jack, the contacts are so small. I haven't got the right tooling. Even though I don't want to give up, it's kind of like, what do you do? All right, so continuity test. And so, this is so tight in there. Pretty sure that's ground. Pretty sure that's ground. So we got grounds everywhere. So right here is positive. Now, if we do directly attach it to a wire, how do we get that wire in and out of the chassis? It's a split hole, so that's not gonna be a big deal. So then how do we choke it? Because so I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, it broke like that. Okay, so we have some nice wires. What side is positive and what side is negative? Looks like they have color codes on this. Gently slice back the insulation. Okay, I need to find an adapter now. All right. All connected. Plug this in. Let's see if it's going to power up. Nope. Oh. oh, there you go. No way. Well, the USB cable hardwired onto it. 
probably gonna be better than ever. So now the question is putting this thing back together properly. <laughs> it's all guts. And hopefully that cable's long enough to reach you don't need an extension. We have hardwired it directly on there. Because that's the best. It's too complicated to reconnect that little jack. At least with my tooling. I wish I could be more able to do something that small, but that's very specially tooling and I do not do that kind of thing, this kind of thing often enough. So now we got to get this all back together. kind of wish the cable was like on like some kind of L angle or a 90. Well, it's so flat, it's going to fold nice. Yeah, which is cool. Hopefully that stays on. Is there something else you could put on there that makes it stronger? I'm going or to glue it up. That's why this glue gun's heating up. And it has this plastic assembly that fits over top of it. So I'm gonna like sandwich a bunch of glue in there so that that plastic stays in place. Maybe get some underneath the cable here. All right. Now let's see how the plastic cover is gonna go on. Where is the plastic cover? Bunch of glue now. Freaking! <laughs> the hole goes in. Inject a little bit more into the side there. There, it's going to be glued to that plastic piece, which is going to be held in place. Now, as long as I don't need that plastic piece to be out while I uh, install it, we'll be okay. No data, though. Unfortunately, it's all power now. Now, what's it going to take to put her back together now? These guys have to tuck back in somehow. These wires go down into here. And this guy comes around into, come on, there. Okay. This drum tank is perpener. Maybe it won't slip out on us anymore. Now, where did this cable go? I think it came down and around or something. Now, getting that PCB into place again. Plug this guy in. And it all kind of just slipped down. This guy came out of place. So far it's going back together easier than it came apart. Camera cable. This camera cable here was one of the tricky ones. Yeah, I knew this camera cable was going to be a pain in the ass. The geometry is just not cooperating. Once I get that cable on, it's all downhill. Why couldn't they give you the little friggin grasp spot at the back of this cable like the other proper cables do. What were they thinking? All they had to do was make that cable just a little foldy bit longer because I don't understand how they were expecting this geometry to work. Oh, did I finally just get it? Oh, wow. Okay, so that was, that was a damn near impossible task. The geometry of this little cable. That little friggin' cable had to push into there. But it's, it's coming out from underneath the board. And they don't give you any length, so it's not like you can pull it back. And then this stupid plastic assembly is in the way. Wow. And then I think this comes around here. You all stay in place now, okay? And that ground strap comes over there. Now there's this plastic assembly. That plastic assembly was snapped there, snapped there, and now we uh, have some screws to install. Now, if I recall correctly, the black ones went through the plastic holes, and a metal one went through this hole, and then that has another ground strap that kind of fits into there. Alright, so that's the button board. Ah, the screen is weird because it bayonet mounts. It's got these little hooks. Alright, the button board's gonna come out around the side here. And the screen presses down and snaps into place. Give me another plug in here. I'm gonna double check that it still works. Okay, I'm seeing display on the screen, so I guess the camera's connected correctly. Oh, 
that screw goes on after I put the screen in place. I think I got this mostly together now. It's just a case of getting the back on. Emphasis on. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's junk or what? It's pissing you off. <laughs> no, it's just I made a funny noise, so I decided to emphasize it. All right, so the bottom ass now. Now, getting that down in there to stay put, we we'll put the battery box back on. Did you stay put or did you move on me? Okay. Which screws are which? I think these short ones go here. All right, so let's put an, a card of SD in there. Let's give her a plug in again. So that's what we have now. Oh, hardwired, bud. Hardwired. All right, now let's officially press the power button. Bring little chirpy noise. 1080p 30 wide. How does it look? Oh, it blinked. How's the sound? Ah, da 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 da. Invalid action. Turn off auto gain. <laughs> In invalid invalid action. Invalid action. Auto gain. Oh boy. It's a fish eye lens. Handy video recorder. Field of view. Oh look at that. I wonder how wide that wide's gonna be now. Yeah. How much you pay for this thing? Maybe almost three, two or something. Hmm. It's cool because it's kind of like an action cam. Hey, you can get some uh, interesting angles on it. I was trying to figure out a way to mount it on my like harness. So we're stopped now. Just press record again. Footage analysis. was hilarious. What? Oh, my face was hilarious. Does it look Holy consistent fuck. with what you're used to? Yeah, it looks fine. Well, it looks like it was a success. The broken jack wouldn't have been easy to replace. So we just hardwired a USB cable into it. Now you can continue po powering it. And since he doesn't use it as an actual action cam, it's not going to be a problem. You just have it set up on a tripod and plugged in all the time anyway. That took about two hours. So the most challenging part was taking the board off? Yeah, trying to figure out how to get that camera cable in and out. Getting it out was not a problem, but I didn't want to take it off because I was knew it was going to be hard to get in again, but couldn't be helped. And it was hard to get in again. Well, at least the camera's not completely garbage. No. And now we know that the Q2N adapter charging oh yeah that jack windy. is just ripped right off so be careful with it you know I'm never sure how to end some of these <laughs> there you have it folks the Q2N is still alive